Just a quick elaboration on my previous video about these two gearboxes. Um, I'm in the cryo room, bloody freezing, so I'll be really, really quick. Input shaft, input shaft, input shaft off this one. Input bearing, input bearing. I just wanted you to see the two next to each other. Input shaft bearing on a H150, H151 and the H152. This is the R151, also in the R150s and R154s. Um, very big difference. These never fail, these do. Input shaft bearings, oh, input shaft, they're heavy. That's the input shaft out of this one. This is the input shaft out of that one. Very small. Synchro ring. Three piece, R151. First gear, first gear on the 80 series. 80 series, when I say 80 series, the H series boxes. Big difference. Now these do wear, we'll do, we will do a separate segment on that. They have keyways there that chop out. Lots of reasons. Large tyre is probably the biggest cause. Um, and synchro drag, clutch drag, causing synchro drag. Um, I think we've done the fifth gear. Fifth gear on this one, we already showed them. Partially splined gear on that one, we do a fully splined, prior treated of course. And this is a blown fifth gear in this one. Um, We'll, we'll do a separate segment as to why they are blowing the fifth gear on this one. Um, we do a tow pack overdrive, so we do a taller fifth gear in this and we get a, an extra 200 k's out of a tank. Best thing since sliced bread on this and we also do these in a treated gear set um, with an oil cooler, extra 30% extra oil capacity. All due to this machine, cryogenic processing and heat tempering machine all in one process, runs for about 53 hours plus. Um, Freezes to minus 180 Celsius, minus 300 Fahrenheit, and then heat over a 24 hour period, and then heat tempers um, over a, a num, probably another 48 hours. So, um, best thing since I spread this one, this machine actually came um, out of a huge ghost. Fills up with liquid nitrogen, we've got a massive tank outside, cold, great for the summer weather. Um, and this is, we pretty much treat everything we can, changes the molecular structure of the steel. Have a look on our website, we do a quick explanation. This machine was actually used by NASA to test, um, to make sure this machine was holding the temperature steady, and we get a minute by minute report, and it's just steady as best thing since I spread this one. It's cold, better get out of here now. Thanks for listening.